Okay, welcome back to Demon Souls, guys. Now, you might be wondering what I'm doing back here, and you might be wondering uh, why I have no armor on. Well, the reason for that is that I accidentally deleted the second part of me uh, going through this, a this area. So I decided, well, I died anyway, so I decided that I would re record my journey. I pretty much collected most of the stuff that's in here. Get out of my way. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm not gonna show like the whole journey, but I can show the the route I took. So basically, this is where you wanna go. Oops! Kill this guy before he kills us. So yeah, basically, I died at those ballistas. I tried dodging through them, which can actually be done. And it's like a big shortcut in the level, but it just wasn't working out for me. Kept dying. I'm not sure I'm going the right way. No, definitely not. I remember now. We need to go to the other side, if I'm not mistaken. It's so easy to get lost in this place. Mainly because everything just looks the same and it all kind of blends together. Oh, went the wrong way. Alright, now I think I'm back at the beginning, basically. Well, that's stupid. Oh well. I get to babble on about nothing, basically. And get paralyzed. Hopefully this isn't, isn't gonna one-shot me. Okay, it's not. Die. Okay, that was extremely lucky. I probably just killed him like a uh, few microseconds before he got that attack off. And I guess that once they're dead, their attack kind of dissipates. Even though that should have hit me. Oh well, who am I to complain? It didn't get hit. God, I'm running low on late moon grasses. Still have like 40 something almost 50 full moon grasses so I'm good on the healing items front well actually you know what we do have two kind of tough areas coming up well basically I'm pretty much done with all the leveling I wanted to do I went the wrong way again or did I? God, I hate this place no I didn't go the wrong way this is where you need to go so what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm pretty much done with all the leveling I need. Maybe I could bump up vitality a little bit. But then again, I have pretty good armor. This is where uh, Sage Frake is. We're gonna come back and rescue him later. And... I think this is where... This is where Ridiel is. But this is where we need to go. Alright, so here on the first floor, there's basically a bunch of shit that I don't need in those cells. There's this enemy who I've killed once. Not gonna kill it again. Okay. Not gonna kill again because he's fucking annoying. But I can block his magic with my Mercury Shield. But if you come down here, this is where you pick up a Mercury Rapier, which is kind of a good starting weapon. And this is the infamous Ballista. I tried going through it twice, didn't work out. So I was like, you know what? Actually, thinking about it, I might as well put my armor back on. Um, that's just not gonna work out. I'm not that good at dodging, especially in this game. But we can take the normal route through this level. Okay, that's locked. Well, that's not good. Where do I go then? Hmm. Maybe I should have looked up a map of this place. 
You know what? I'm gonna explore here because I think I missed some treasure. Wonder if I can... No, that doesn't work. Alright, better not um, test my luck. I think that's pretty much gonna do that. No matter what shield you have. Huh. I could have sworn there was treasure down there. You know what? Let's try this again. One more time. Alright. No. Shit. But that was a better attempt. God. Yeah, that's the problem. Once you get hit by the first one, because there is no poison in this game, you're pretty much fucked. Oh well. I'm gonna see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, this is where we need to go. So, I was being an idiot and I forgot that I already o got the Warden's Key. And I can go through here and actually proceed with the level. There you are. I was looking for you. And you too. God, shit. There you go. Luckily these guys aren't the brightest. He's got some old spice. Open this gate. Alright, we're on the right track. Get the fresh spice. And we can go downstairs. Where we actually need to go. Hmm. Can't remember how you get that treasure. Oh well. As I said, pretty much the problem with coming here this late in the game is that most of this treasure is not too useful for me. And I think this is the tower you take to kill that guy who respawns the fool's idol. I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track. I might not be, I think it's the other one. But there's definitely treasure here. I'm almost tempted to just take my armor off so I can sprint faster, but you know what? We're doing this tank style. I don't care. Alright, let's see what's in here. I think it's a uh, stone of the ephemeral eyes. If it's that, that's good. No, it's the silver catalyst. Oh well, we got that. That's gonna be useful, never. Although this weapon can be enchanted. Well, obviously, because... I mean, it can be enchanted with resins and magic too. God, can you imagine this thing with cursed weapon on it? Just ridiculous. Plus, maybe throw in the clever rat, rat ring and the morion blade. Just ridiculous. Might actually need to try that on my next playthrough. Who knows? I've been toying around with the idea of making kind of like a hyper mode build for Demon Souls. This is where we go. And now we can shut off the ballista. This is always nerve wracking because I always think that something is gonna like come up and reactivate it. But I don't think that's possible. I've got the clever rat ring. That's the ring. It's basically the red tear stone ring. Uh, if you're under 20% HP, it's gonna like increase your attack power li by like a ridiculous amount. And actually, hyper mode in this game is a lot easier to achieve because of the kind of health system in the game. Oh, hello. Forgot about you. This NPC can actually be tough first time you fight it. Because I think that weapon inflicts the plague. Well, not the first time you fight it. I mean, if you come here early in the game. 
Why did I do that? I think he, she is wielding a, a weapon called Baby Snail. That we're gonna get later. But she's dead. Oh, fuck you. What can I drop? You know what? We can... Why do I have the wooden castle? Oh, because I picked up the sorcerer starting set. And we can drop this. What else? Drop this. Although these things aren't too heavy. Still counts. Alright, can I pick this thing up? Yeah, see, that's much much more useful. Although the Moonlight stuff isn't that good. I need to go back and kill Fool's Idol. I mean the guy that spawns Fool's Idol. Quite a lot of running around in this episode. Not much fighting. But you know, you get those sometimes. I'm gonna check that door once I come back. Wow, this is a... Alright, I was just about to say that's a fucking tall tower. Although it is a long way down. I do like the design of this area, I have to say. It's probably one of my favorite areas. Well, my actual favorite area in Demon's Souls as far as design. As far as bosses, especially one particular set of bosses, not so much. Alright, we're gonna pick this up. Goodbye. You can talk to him and he'll give you like a bullshit explanation of how he's innocent and all that. Don't believe him. Anyways, the special key we picked up is for Sage Frakes cell. But it's actually a lot easier just to finish the level, go back to the start and rescue him then because his cell is closer to the beginning. And since I'm going to rescue Ridiel anyways, I might as well just wait for it and rescue them both at the same time. Not that I need Frake. He sells magic to you, but, you know, I don't use magic with this character. Alright, we need to check this. Oh, this is not a door. Okay. So, let's try Fool's Idol. She shouldn't be too difficult, because I've got this shield which blocks, like, a ridiculous amount of magic damage. Take this off, this off, and this off, and actually put in my full moon grasses. Because you never know. As I said, I have a feeling this isn't gonna last for very long. This boss is cool, but I'm extremely overleveled. Well, my weapon is extremely overpowered, more like. Well, alright, so that's Fool's Idol. If you actually leave these guys alive, uh, or at least a few of them, the ones that aren't annoying, they will actually face... Well, you'll see. Actually, most people probably already know the gimmick of this boss. Or the not gimmick. Hmm. That was the hardest boss I've ever faced. 
god, being overleveled is not entertaining at all. Sorry about that, guys. I probably should have come here a lot earlier. Gunnet makes me kind of angry. Demon Souls isn't fun this way. Oh well. These are uh, hints left by the developers. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. This one's kind of shorter, but you know. Oops, I triggered the cutscene. Oh well, we can watch this. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. In the next episode, we're taking on the dreaded second part of Latria. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.